Hello guys and welcome back again to the Tactic YouTube channel. As you can probably notice, in front of us stands a pretty small box from Gigabyte, especially if you take into consider that it packs a motherboard inside, and that N letter in the Z170N Wi-Fi naming reveals that we have a mini ITX model in front of us. As the box is really tiny, there is not that much to talk about. On the front, in the right corner, you can see a notion of Intel Skylake and Z170 chipset support, while the back is fully packed with overviews of some key features, like the fact that we have 802.11ac Wi-Fi on board, USB Type-C connector, enhanced audio circuitry, dual gigabit LAN, M.2 slot, and so on. Beside that, you can also see a list of the motherboard's technical specifications and a picture of the back I.O. layout. Opening up the box beneath the motherboard, you'll find the bundle, which holds two SATA cables, Wi-Fi antenna, IR shield, and of course some user manuals and optical disk with drivers and software. And last but not least, here we have the motherboard itself. The overall design and looks of this model is pretty much a common one in regards of the Gigabyte's ultra durable series. Nothing was changed with the arrival of Skylake. We have a dark gray and black color scheme with a pretty limited but nicely organized component layout. Being a mini ITX form factor motherboard, some standard physical features seen on the regular ATX motherboards like multiple PCI Express slots are just impossible to implement. That's why here we only have the usual solo running PCI Express X16 slot on the bottom edge. Right above it, you can see the heatsink for the chipset and next to that, between it and the RAM slots, we have two SATA 3 ports. Moving a bit to the left side, you can see a USB 3 header and beneath it, crammed into the left bottom corner, components for the audio circuitry with its headers for the external connections. Although this is a Z170 chipset based motherboard, don't expect some crazy overclocking results as it only has a 5 phase power design and without any heatsink on it. At least because of that you'll get some better clearance for installation of an aftermarket CPU cooler. The right side houses some of the usual components like more SATA ports, 4 of them to be precise, where Gigabyte even managed to integrate two SATA Express connectors, while next to them you can see an unusual place for the front panel and a speaker header and a common place for the 24 pin ATX power connector. Right behind that you can see two DDR4 RAM slots for up to 32GB of it and that's basically your usual number of slots for a mini ITX motherboard. Going through that top part of the motherboard you'll come across onto two fine headers which are actually the only ones on the board, a 4 pin EPS power connector next to them and in the corner vertically tucked in Wi-Fi module which routes to the back for the antenna connection. Speaking of that back part, the I.O. area is nicely filled with other different kinds of connectors like the PS2 combo port, USB 3 Type-C connector, dual gigabit LAN ports, two HDMI and a DVI-D video outputs, the usual 7.1 audio connector layout and unfortunately only four USB 3 Type-A connectors. And as a cherry on the top feature-wise, turning the motherboard onto its back side you'll find a cleverly hidden M.2 slot for modules up to 80mm in size. Thank you once again guys for checking out our unboxing and preview of the Gigabyte's Z170N Wi-Fi motherboard. Feel free to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the product and of course if you would like to see more content like this you can subscribe to our Tactic YouTube channel or you can check out our other videos from before.